What do you think of a nice number two? Pencil. You could haul a lot of mashed potatoes around with these. She's Dolly goddamn part. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching. My name is Jonathan, this is Noodle, and this is Tools of the Trade, the show where we find out exactly what everyday entrepreneurs need to get through their day. I'm really excited because this week's episode is all about Sig Morrison. And Dress New Orleans is a business that she founded based on her passion for chain stitching that she learned while visiting her grandma over the summer. So what's really amazing about her business is that whenever you commission an item, whether she's making you a sweater or she's making you a patch, the design on it is entirely handmade by her. She's really an artist with what she does. We're just about to get into this box, and before we do that, I just wanna clear the air and just see if Noodle is anything he wants to bring to the table. That was quite lazy, he didn't contribute anything. But that's okay because you're adorable. <laughs> I love this part. Okay, so let's see what Sig curated for us. Oh, okay. Okay, so the first thing we've got in here is, oh, it's called Love Kombucha. So this is a Brew Doctor Organic Kombucha. It's jasmine, lavender, and green tea. And this is cool because this is something I would put in my box. I absolutely love kombucha. This is a drink that you consume and it has some bacteria in it uh, that is supposed to be very, very good for your gut health. And a lot of people who are super health conscious are kind of getting into this. So Sig also, this is not just something that she drinks to stay healthy, but this is something that she actually drinks when she's out with her friends, when she's out with her girlfriends, instead of drinking alcohol. What do you think? Over it. So the next item we have in the Sig Morrison box is, oh, it's cold brew. <laughs> I thought it was motor oil. This is super, super intense stuff. It's fresh cold brew concentrate. Oh, so this is even more lethal than just normal cold brew coffee. So this is stuff that you have to not only drink limited amounts of, but you have to dilute this with more water. So Sig is hardcore when it comes to her caffeine intake. I think it's safe to say that although she does not indulge in alcohol, she has absolutely no problem making sure that she can stay awake for those long hours. I'm having trouble even touching this because I can't drink caffeine without white knuckling it. So this is like, yeah, this is dangerous for me, but I'm gonna keep it close uh, because danger keeps things more interesting. The next item we have in the Sig Morrison box is, this is wrapped all nice. I don't wanna ruin it, but I'm gonna. Yeah, I wish they would wrap more things. It's like Christmas for me, except I don't get any of these. Ooh. Waiter, these, these are just exercise pads. Sig loves hot yoga. She loves going to Bikram classes. These are something that I would absolutely see a high-powered businesswoman walking around in New York City wearing. Confidently, they're bold, they're colorful, they've got a lot to say. You got some nice stretch in them. You could really, you could haul a lot of mashed potatoes around with these. I don't know, I don't know why that's the first thing I thought of. Noodle's looking at this right now and he's like, this woman is fancy as hell. She looks amazing. How can I have this tailored into a small, maybe a bodysuit? The next item we have in the Sig Morrison box is super fine pins. Is this a death trap? What am I doing here? Oh yeah, no, there's a bunch of very sharp steel pins. As a designer of any kind who's working with many different types of materials, you have to find a way to pin those down, right? And Sig literally told us that not only does she love these pins, she says she stabs herself with them a hundred times a day. Because she also followed up by saying that if she's going to do that, it might as well be with the nicest pin. And I love that. I love that if you are gonna have to like, you know, in very small ways, just shank yourself over and over and over again to follow your dreams, it might as well be with a really nice pin. The next item we have in the Sig Morrison box is a rectangle plastic case. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's the pencils. It's 
Sig tells us that she loves these pencils because she is quote unquote not a fan of mechanical nonsense. Sig, you need to teach me your ways. She also says that there is nothing better than a sharpened number two pencil. But it's something that I can imagine she just needs to sketch all the time. If she gets inspired by something, she might need to, uh, to sketch it out or write something down. You seem very interested in these pencils. What do you think of a nice number two? Pencil. He loves a good poop whenever he has to have one. <gasps> Did you just lick it? Did you, oh. <laughs> Did you see him take a small bite? Did you take a small bite? And then did you just kind of snot all over the table? This is so sweet. I'm putting this pencil right back in here. Oh wait, she's cool! <laughs> Sorry, I just took out her two vinyls and I realized that she's much cooler than I am. What is it about vinyls that make people very cool? So Sig put two vinyls in here. Judas Priest, which is, once again, way more badass than I am. My vinyl would be like, Let Go, Avril Lavigne's first album, which was the very first CD I ever purchased with my own money. And then the next one she has in here is, uh, okay, so it's Judas Priest. So she's a big Judas Priest person, and I love that she likes to listen to him on vinyl. What a fun little indulgence, right? I know a couple of people with a record player, and it's one thing to listen to it like on your headphones or when you're kind of running around, but to be able to just put music on, right? Whether you're in your studio or you're in your apartment or your house, to just be able to have something playing must be, you know, just on a record player with that sort of vintage feel, especially with the era of this music, that must be really satisfying for her. The next item we have is It's Dolly Parton. Got a nice little eight by 10 signed Dolly Parton photo that I think would be perfect in anyone's home, on your mantle, on your, you know, shellacked to your car windshield. Sig tells us that she has, Dolly Parton is all over her studio, so it's very clear that she's wildly inspired by this woman, either because she loves her music, she loves the way that she paved the way for women, she loves the way that she started her own freaking theme park that is successful. I think this is in here for equal parts inspiration and motivation. And Noodle, I just have to ask, like, as someone who did know Dolly back in this time, what do you think? No time for Dolly. Okay, he's got, he's got plenty of time to lick a fire hydrant on the corner of 41st and Broadway, but no time for Dolly. Okay, and the last item we have in the Sig Morrison box is, okay, so I'm gonna open this. I don't know what this is. I think it's a, uh, I'm pretty sure this is a, a picture frame for Dolly. You don't just get Dolly, she gets her own frame. Of course she does. She's Dolly goddamn part. Sig, you have told us so much about yourself. I am thrilled by the items that you put in here. I love them. I love them. I don't know about you guys, but I am feeling so inspired by her, by Judas Priest, by Dolly Parton, by everyone that was involved in this box. I think it was really a wonderful curation. I feel like I know this woman so much more, and I have a great understanding of the kinds of things that she needs to get through a day, whether it's a day where she's trying to be very creative or a day where she's trying to be very productive. If you liked this video, please go ahead and like and subscribe to our YouTube YouTube channel and don't forget to ring the bell uh, to get notifications whenever we post a new piece of content like this. So for myself and for Noodle and for Dolly, thank you so much for watching and we will see you next week. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe on YouTube if you did like watching this video and be sure to tune in next time.